Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, all the things. I have a Toyota Tundra I'm working on today. As you can see, that's the bed. Let's check it out. All right, so I've got all the prep done. Well, not all the prep done. I still need to wipe it down with uh, wax and grease remover to remove anything that's on this Linex. This is looks to be an earlier version of, uh, well, not an earlier version, but an earlier install, because now they put a plate in there that says Linex. They don't do it like that anymore, I don't think. Um, anyway, it's an older bed liner. Uh, what I'm gonna do is tape around it. Uh, I've already scuffed the ever loving piss out of it. Uh, I also used uh, some heavy duty industrial de degreaser. Uh, actually, I used my uh, Tiger's Blood. That's a discontinued product from detailjuice.com, but still uh, very relevant uh, if you need crazy heavy duty degreasing. So anyway, I sprayed it all down with a heavy dilution of Tiger's Blood and I scrubbed it really well with this uh, hard bristle brush. So I scrubbed it, scrubbed it, scrubbed it, got it real clean. I pressure washed it out with my little pressure washer there. And now I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm actually gonna leave now and go to lunch and then come back and it should be dry. We have overcast skies today and uh, we should not have any rain today. So a um, little bit better working environment than normal. Uh, this gentleman is fixing up this truck. As you can see, I just uh, cut out this um, little area that was not sticking. So everything that's left around it is uh, fastened down uh, by the liner. You know, it's, it's there and it's stuck well. I uh, got a couple of gashes here and there. Not going to worry too much about those. Got this guy here. Not going to worry about that. The new liner will fill this. Uh, I am going to be using Raptor liner today on this particular bed. Uh, you can absolutely, there's another couple of spots. You can absolutely apply bed liner on top of bed liner. You just have to prep it very much the same way you would prep paint prior to applying it. So if this didn't have a bed liner in it, I'd have to do all of the exact same prep process to get it ready to apply it. Um, I'm using the Raptor liner today just because I got a good deal on it. Uh, that does not mean that it's the best liner possible, uh, or I shouldn't even say that. There, there are many of them out there. I feel like Raptor is one of the, the better ones for sure. Um, there's a couple other ones I like, like Duraback 18. It's really awesome. Um, there's a Defender Pro option, which is a epoxy liner that I like a lot. But my two top favorites are my Versa liner, which I am out of currently. Uh, we are looking at bringing that back and actually taking it to market this time. I've, I've now got several years of applications that I've been looking at uh, that, you know, and, and paying attention to on that particular situation uh, that, you know, are really looking really good after uh, two to three years. So we're gonna go ahead and go into production with that very soon. But this is a Raptor liner install. It will apply very much like uh, the Versa liner and the Duraback 18 option. What I like about that is um, when you roll it, it's a little bit more textured. So if you're looking for something non-skid, like for boats or whatever, that's generally what I use. But uh, like I said, I scuffed this really well. Um, I did use my rotary polisher and a nylon brush to scuff very well. And then, like I said, I sprayed it down with Tiger's Blood and then I scrubbed it down and then I pressure washed everything out. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. As I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I'll come back, it'll be dry. Then I'll be able to tape everything up and get to spraying. Cool part about the Raptor liner is uh, it gives you the same texture whether you roll it or spray it on. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, um, you could roll it or spray it on and it'll look good. So we're gonna spray this on today but I'll bring you back whenever I get everything prepped, everything taped up. Uh, like I said, after the taping process, well, before the taping process, I'm gonna wipe everything down with wax and grease remover, make sure it's uh, really, really clean 
for the application of the bed liner and then I'll tape everything up and get to spraying. So I'll bring you back when I've got more done. All right, got her done. Sprayed down a gallon of Raptor liner in this bed. Looks awesome. Raptor liner also has UVA and UVB inhibitors in it, which uh, the Linex that was on here does not have. You have to pay extra for that UV top coat. Um, I taped it off real well and just gave her a solid blast everywhere. I did a uh, drop dust coat at the end there to try to minimize any uh, weirdness and streaking. Um, still wet a little bit in the center there i just pulled the tape so she's all done and looking amazing so you absolutely can spray raptor liner over an existing bed liner you gotta scuff it and clean it well and then tape it up and spray her on and she looks awesome just like you see All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions about applying this stuff, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my detailing products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Um, I also show a lot of what you see, other custom stuff. I own Infinity Custom Works in Holiday, Florida as well. So now I've got to get in there and uh, inspect this gentleman's radio because he's having some audio problems. Yes, I take care of audio as well. So custom equals pretty much everything. And I've had an audio hobby all of my life. You can look back at my past videos. I'm big into sound pressure level. So SPL, big bass, also sound quality. Uh, you may uh, have noticed there was a big cut out what I did was I poured some Raptor in it to seal everything up and then I kind of just spread it around so it looked a little bit um, textured and so that's kind of where we're at with that that's what I had to do to make that look okay but you know this isn't a brand new truck I don't know that he was expecting it to look like one I mean you got dents all over the place this just uh, really made the bed liner come back if you will so check out detailjuice.com for your product needs. Uh, FoxyDropOutdoors.com, InfinityCustomWorks.com will be available soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.